This short video is about how to um, use the star tool, how to make duplicates of a layer, and how to align uh, and create even spacing between those object elements. So I've got a document opened up here in Photopea, and I'm going to go to the star tool. So over here in my toolbar, uh, usually it's default set to the rectangle tool, but if you hold down the, the mouse button or your trackpad button uh, to show the hidden menu underneath the rectangle tool, you'll see your other tools. So I have parametric shape down here, which is where I'll get to the star tool. Not custom shape, actually. Um, could be a little misleading because it's got a little star graphic next to it, but I want to go to parametric shape. Okay, up here at the top um, are my options. So I can, you know, it's usually set to polygon. I can choose star. Um, I'm probably going to want to create a new layer here. I've got a layer from my background down already, a rectangle. So over here in the layer uh, palette, to the left of the trash can, I'm going to click on the little post-it note. Opens up a new layer. I'm going to find a color that I want to use here. Maybe I'll use red. And then I'm going to draw the basic star. And you've got some different options with this. Um, I can have as many sides as I want. So if I wanted a 14 pointed star, I can draw that. If I want to change the inner radius, so if I go smaller with this number, you'll see that it reduces the size of the star in the middle. Or if I wanted to go larger with this number, okay, it makes my points smaller. Corner radius will round the edges. So if I push this up really high, you can see how it rounds the edges of the star shape. If I want to delete some of these shapes, I can select the layers over here so I can hold shift. select all the layers that I want to delete, and then press the trash can to delete them. Now I'm going to work with this star right here, the basic star. If I want to rotate it a little bit more, um, I'm up at the move, selecting the move tool. Make sure that transform controls is checked. I'm just trying to adjust this, get this nice and even. Okay. So I'd like to make some duplicates of this layer so I have a few stars that are the same exact size. So I'm going, going up to Layer, Duplicate the Layer. And I'm just going to drop this out, Layer, Duplicate Layer. Okay, so I have three stars right now. Um, if I want to go back and click on any one of these, see I can just click on the stars, or I can select the layer over here on the right. And that will go to the star. Now, usually when you have stars, you're going to want to line them up. So if I want to line them up horizontally, I'm going to select my stars, again holding shift, selecting the layers. And then with the move tool selected up here at the top, I have my align tools. So I can align the center. I can also choose to just align the top. That works as well. And then the other thing I'm probably going to want is to have these evenly spaced. So I'm going to choose this button over here to the right which will evenly space the stars. If I want a second set of these, I could um, merge these layers together and then copy it out and make another set. So I could go layer, merge the layers. Okay, now it's treating the whole thing as one layer. And then I can go layer, duplicate layer. Now I have a copy. Then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do one more layer, duplicate layer, and I'm going to make another copy. Now maybe I want all of these layers um, lined up vertically, so I'm going to hold shift and then back up to my align tools. I can line them to the left or center and hit center here. And then to evenly space things vertically, there's another button for that. So I can click that button. It was actually pretty close. 
Now with all of them selected, I can move them all together and then holding shift, I can even scale all of these layers together. If I wanted to center it, I find the middle of the photo PO, give me a little, there we go, little red line that indicates that I'm now in the center. And that's a little bit about working with stars.